Good afternoon and welcome to After School Snack Time. We are so glad you're here. Hello friends, it is so good to see you. How are you today? Is this your first time joining us for After School Snack Time? Whether this is your first time, second time, you don't know how many times. We are so glad that you are here. I am Ms. Parker, the Financial Education and Community Outreach Ambassador for the Credit Union, and this is Ms. Brusselina, the Savings Kangaroo. She helps plan all of these fun things, and she has planned this, has picked out a great story and a snack for us to have today. Let's head on over to the snack table and find out what we're having. <gasps> Ants on a log. Have you had this before? Do you like celery? Some friends don't always like celery, but when they have it this way, they think it's extra yummy. Let's head on into the kitchen where we can make the snack and find out more about whether or not we think this is tasty. Who's ready for snack? Me! Oh, Miss Rusalina's picked out a great one today. How many of you like celery? How many of you like raisins? How many of you like peanut butter? I hear some yeses and I hear some noes, which tells me that some of you like some of these things, but not all of these things. And maybe some of you don't like any of them or you like all of them and that's okay. But what I think is great about ants on a log is that sometimes by mixing things that aren't your favorite with some things that are, it makes it into something really delicious and it's nutritious. So the first thing we have to do is to take our celery and cut off the tip because it's a little bit yucky and then this little white part. Watch your fingertips when you're using a knife. Now we have this piece of celery, but this is kind of big, right? So we want to cut it. So now we have a smaller piece of celery where we can take and put our peanut butter. Now, if you have a peanut allergy, you might use a different type of butter. So here I have some sun butter. I'm gonna get it on my knife and now I can put it on my celery. And I have a friend here who has peanut butter on their celery. So it's all ready. Now we can put our raisins on here. These are the ants, and this is our log. These ants are ready for a yummy picnic. All right, we have our ants on a log ready. Let's eat. Cheers. Mmm. That's delicious. What do you think? A really good mix together. Oh my goodness. Super duper good. And I have to tell you, my friend here does not like raisins, but on here, it's delicious. So now we have a really great nutritious snack. If you have these things in your house, I hope you'll give this a try. But if not, have whatever snack you have and enjoy it. Let's head on over to the story couch to read what Miss Rusalina picked out today. Now that we have had our snack, it is time for us to have a story. And Miss Rusalina has picked out a nice one today. This is called The Other Side by Jacqueline Woodson. Let's jump right in. The Other Side by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrations by E.B. Lewis. That summer, the fence that stretched through the town seemed bigger. 
We lived in a yellow house. On one side of it, white people lived on the other. And mama said, don't climb over that fence when you play. She said it wasn't safe. That summer, there was a girl who wore a pink sweater. Each morning, she climbed up on that fence and stared over at our side. Sometimes I stared back. She never sat on that fence with anybody. That girl didn't. Once when we were jumping rope, she asked if she could play. My friend Sandra said no without even asking the rest of us. I don't know what I would have said. Maybe yes, maybe no. That summer, everyone and everything on the other side of that fence seemed far away. When I asked my mama why, she said, because that's the way things have always been. Sometimes when me and mama went into town, I saw that girl with her mama. She looked sad sometimes, that girl did. Don't stare, my mama said. It's not polite. It rained a lot that summer. On rainy days, that girl sat on the fence in a raincoat. She let herself get all wet and acted like she didn't even care. Sometimes I saw her dancing around in puddles, splashing and laughing. Mama wouldn't let me go out in the rain. That's why I bought you rainy day toys, my mama said. You stay inside here where it's warm, safe, and dry. But every time it rained, I looked for that girl. And I always found her somewhere near the fence. Someplace in the middle of the summer, the rain stopped. When I walked outside, the grass was damp and the sun was already high up in the sky. And I stood there with my hands up in the air. I felt brave that day. I felt free. I got close to the fence and that girl asked me my name. Clover, I said. My name's Annie, she said. Annie Paul. I live over yonder, she said. By where you see the laundry, that's my blouse hanging on the line. She smiled then. She had a pretty smile. And then I smiled. And we stood there, looking at each other, smiling. It's nice up on the fence, Annie said. You can see all over. I ran my, I ran my hand along the fence. I reached up and touched the top of it. A fence like this was made for sitting on, Annie said. She looked at me sideways. My mama says I shouldn't go on the other side, I said. My mama says the same thing, but she never said nothing about sitting on it. Neither did mine, I said. That summer, me and Annie sat together on that fence. And when Sandra and them looked at me funny, I just made believe I didn't care. Some mornings, my mama watched us. 
I waited for her to tell me to get down from that fence before I break my neck or something, but she never did. I see you made a new friend, she said one morning, and I nodded and Mama smiled. That summer, me and Annie sat on that fence and watched the whole wide world around us. One day, Sandra and them were jumping rope near the fence, and we asked if we could play. I don't care, Sandra said. And when we jumped, Sandra and me were partners, the way we used to be. When we were too tired to jump anymore, we sat up on that fence, all of us in a long line. Someday, somebody's going to come along and knock this old fence down, Annie said. And I nodded. Yeah, I said. Someday. What did you think of that story, friends? Had you read that before? Did you notice anything that seemed a little different than maybe the way things are today in the story? Did you notice the fence and that both Clover and Annie's moms told them they couldn't go to the other side? Did you wonder why? I hear some yeses, I hear some noes, and I hear some maybes, and that's okay. And I bet if we think back, some of us in our schools may have learned that there was a time when kids, based on their color of their skin, couldn't and didn't go to the same schools. And that's not always the case anymore today. And that's kind of a cool thing, right? It can be really neat to get to know people who don't think and look and act just like ourselves. But there's always something we can learn from one another. We can learn about the different types of things they like to eat or do or read or maybe play. Learning from one another, despite our differences or similarities, is a pretty cool thing to do. And it's pretty special. I love learning from each of you what you know, what you would like to learn, what you like to eat or to do. Because each of us is different, and different isn't a bad thing. It makes our communities extra special. And it's pretty cool to get to know other people and how they like to do things. And maybe if we're lucky, when we're older or now, after the coronavirus, we can travel the world and learn about other cultures and things. So I hope you enjoyed this story and that you'll join us again next week right here for After School Snack Time. Each Wednesday, we'll gather together for a story and a snack and to learn something new. Can't wait to see you next week. Bye, friends. <laughs>